back to another the last left off I was thinking about I just bought my new broom So some of you guys that liked and subscribe to the videos, if you are liking this series, hit that like button, and if you want to watch and see more content like that, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, like button hard enough, and then hit it good enough. That's our blue. other stuff today, if possible. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I do need a box to see it, but I'm fine. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Got some money back. Alright. I hope to see you again. <laughs> there was one more quest that we had that we needed to push anymore. What was it? Professor Simon. Choir folks pushing in use. Okay, that's easy. Acquire maximum. And an Adorus potion and used them simultaneously. So we do need to buy a maximum potion. Because I think. Sense playing around. Anyways, what can I do for you today? We need a maximus person. <laughs> With that, my friend. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope yeah, to I see you again. Guess. Farewell for now. All right. Focus person. Excellent. Why do we look so weird? The 
like it. If anyone ever knew how to keep muggles out. Alright, oh, they're his quest too. We fucked up. Well, do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Um, hello, Mr. Pippin. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence which you order so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take <laughs> this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. <laughs> Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Alright, I got some delivery potions. So we'll get to flying. But if you guys weren't here at the last video, yeah, when I say we're flying. Revelio. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. <coughs> you couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. We got a lot of quests to do today, if you can't Don't tell. Forget, so. The butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good luck. Okay. Right. Anyways, so like I was saying, in the last video we bought our first room. And I'm more gracious about that than anything. Hogs meat, here I come. But here we go. You dare come out! <laughs> Never a true wizard. He wasn't making it up. Where are they going? Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these butterflies.
like what we have here. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yes, yes they do. <coughs> now let's give her an answer about the butterflies. I'll say it again. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me. Rebellion. Oh, butterflies. Yes, I do. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Done and hugs me. You got this, now we can get the blue so. What we were doing demanded for Joe Pimpins. Challenges in this game. It's getting more fun. Wait a minute. Here. I've seen this symbol before. Ah. Well. 
lot of ground here that I need to do to my challenge. Incendio. Revelio. Accio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Revelio. Revelio. Incendio. 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 Send you. Not so tricky after all, Marlin. Fun. 
made my brain think a little bit. Oh, it's here. Rebellion. Rebellion. Always late that pipping. That pipping should have been here by now. Rebellion. Anyways. Always make that pippin. Pippin ain't delivering this thing to me. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. 
If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? Yeah. What are we looking for today? <laughs> Has more than you. A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Mm -hmm. Revelio. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hello oh, there. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Rebellion. That lady. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. So I take up her head and back to Hogwarts.
see if I can find him. Rebellion. These rocks have seen better days. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Rebellion. Look again, shall we? Rebellion. That's where I'll have to do that one another time. I'm sure I'm not having trouble finding it. Okay. Well, get a person's glass, get the, the blue so. What are you up to now? Uh, running a new spell from... I think. Rebellion. Oh, 
the run. When Professor Sharp is so intimidating. Assignments coming along. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Pulso. Pulso. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should. Perhaps better. I am going to practice. Go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Revelio. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Repetition can be an excellent teacher. Thank you for the spell. <laughs> All right, what's next on our agenda? Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. 
But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can Evanesco. cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now. Evanesco on those chairs. Oh. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I've been collecting it. I don't know what I... Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Revelio. down some of us are trying to rest How bad Over let's go Revelio This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! I think this is where all the old and magic stuff goes to die, I think. Revelio! than a house elf managed to get around in here. That's a question I'm trying to figure out myself. Wait. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Revelio. The house elf should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Thank 
here. Let me answer. Accurate. Let me answer. Revelio. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. <laughs> I'm just excited. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Nothing to identify, for now at least. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Thank you. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Thank you. Ah, it's conjuring. Yeah, it's just conjuring spell. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. 
Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds.
Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. <coughs> Do not underestimate his insights. <coughs> I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Oh, Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Shall we move on? That's neat. I'm learning stuff. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Got it. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering. to customize it.
change the color of an item, just the size of an item. Done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Oh, that looks good. My taste. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. Like the room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely.
Oh, now we gotta do another project for him to get the video. But we got the main quest to do. done. Handy resource indeed, your field Ooh. guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Get away. Sebastian, Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention. But I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. 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 How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen yes. Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Uh, yeah. We're going to replace it with something. 
I only use that spell when I'm inside my room. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I couldn't bring them on. Nice work. How does it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours... Does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Understood. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. And I think this will be a good place to any to end our Hogwarts Legacy journey for today. But let's just shoot it off one last time. Confringo! Confringo! The Blasting Curse. This is your friendly neighborhood Warrior King signing off. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! Uh.